we kind of built a team with a bunch of aviation people. Uh, we got a high percentage of people that are pilots. Um, and we kind of got together and they designed this product called uh, the Evolution Flight Display. Um, many of the older aircraft out there, uh, the cost of retrofit, not only in the equipment, but also in the installation of the equipment, is, is still prohibitive for a lot of people with what's out there today. And what we've tried to come up with is, is a low cost, not just physically low cost uh, item uh, in terms of the electronics, but also the form factor that uh, allows us to uh, keep the installation costs real low. This is basically the unit that we call the EFD-1000. And so we've got a screen that replaces a vertical pair of instruments in your cockpit. So you'd start replacing your AI or ADI and your HSI or DG. You can see in the back it's kind of an unusual form factor. And the whole reason for this is this is designed to fit directly into the existing three inch holes in the panel. You take out the old instruments, there's a bracket that mounts on the front, so this front mounts and connects. And if you've looked at earlier uh, glass cockpit systems where you need to have the air data computer and the AHARs in separate boxes, with the miniaturization of technology, we have all of that built into the back of this four inch deep can. So on the top card here, we've got a board that has solid state AHAR sensors. It's got the air data computer, pitot and static connections here. We've got a main processing board in between and then all of our I.O. for connecting to navigation sources and others outside the aircraft built in. And in the very bottom here, we have a built-in backup battery that'll give you at least 30 minutes, ideally more, in the event of a total electrical system failure. So the only thing we have to connect to this box is another thing we call an RSM, or remote sensor module. Looks and mounts exactly like a GPS antenna that dealers have been installing day in and day out for years. Goes out on the fuselage and that contains the uh, 3D remote magnetometer, both for heading and for the attitude reference. Includes the outside air temperature probe and also includes a GPS engine and GPS antenna. We're not using the GPS currently for anything in the attitude sensor, but we are talking with the FAA about, in our initial certification, gaining the ability so that if you do have a total electrical system failure or a failure of all your primary panel mount certified GPS, that we can then use the GPS we have built in there to continue to give you guidance and situational awareness to land the plane and get things fixed. The multifunction display products, again starting with the same hardware, are just another software load, including the software that enables the two units to work together. So they're constantly monitoring each other's integrity. You will announce attitude miscompares like you find on big biz jets. One of them fails, we can go into automatic reversionary mode. And of course, it's base function when everything's working right. Uh, large scale moving maps, flexible screen layouts, hazard overlays for terrain, traffic, and weather. Uh, they'll be shipping in the fall of 2007 this year.